Okay, I'm here at 416 Leslie Wood Court. So this is off of Trenton Road. It's also exit one, which is where we were looking while you were here last week. So we've got some sidewalks, which is nice. A lot of neighborhoods around here don't have sidewalks. Um, I do know two of the four houses we're looking at today do have sidewalks in the neighborhood though. So newer neighborhood within the last 10 years. Um, one thing I will say is literally, this is the first street in the neighborhood at the very top of this hill. Um, is Trenton Road. There is a lot of traffic up there, um, but you are six minutes to the interstate, you're about, I'd say, 20 minutes to post, and then you're also about five minutes to all of the big shopping like Target, TJ Maxx, the mall, all of that fun stuff, all the franchises. Closest grocery store, they're actually building a Publix at the end of Trenton Road, so that will be super nice. But other than that, there's a neighborhood Walmart uh, not too far from here. There's another Publix, maybe 10 minutes from here. So you've got some options. And then gym, there's a Gold's Gym if that interests you. Okay, so you've got a little open banister right when you walk in. Some really dramatic high ceilings. Immediately on your right, you have your half bath. Looks like they put some floating shelves in. And you've got a full-size vanity, which is great. It's a lot of half baths, they'll just have the standalone sink. Okay, door on your left when you walk in to your two car garage. Looks like they built in some storage, which is awesome. And they stained this as well, really good for longevity. Um, the security system here does not convey, the, so the little chiming you heard when I opened the garage door and the front door. They have a ring system, so that's not gonna stay, but it looks like the previous owners from them had a security system that will stay. I haven't seen it yet, but it is around here somewhere. Okay, tiny little coat closet. Um, there is a coat closet. I thought this would be the coat closet, but this is actually just a storage closet. If you wanted, to put a little rail in here, a little rod, you definitely could. I'm trying to show you the size of it. Okay, and here's a different look at your entry. Okay, so there's that big deep closet. Here's your coat closet, your half bath, front door, garage door, dramatic ceiling height, okay. And then when you keep going in, you've got your living room, stone fireplace, like you've got gas logs in there too one thing i did not check on this property is hoa so i will look into that if you're interested in this one just let me know and i'll let you know what you all send you the bylaws what the monthly fees are transfer fees all the fun stuff so you don't have a true dining room you just have an eating kitchen and you do have lvp which is great super durable for pets so you don't ever have to worry about replacing it because, I mean, it's waterproof, dog-proof. It's, it's great. Okay, you got a little bar. Your appliances will convey. Uh, so, washer and dryer never convey. Those are considered personal property. So, those are something you will always have to get unless the seller specifically says they stay. But washer and dryer never stay with properties. So... Super cute though, they did some shiplap and some more floating shelves in here. And then it looks like they added even more floating shelves back here for some more storage. Looks like they keep some appliances back here. Okay, you do get a true pantry in this house. Love that. Let's see if I can back up some more. almost like a cherry stained wood. They're pretty. I love the big handles too. Okay. Go outside. Definitely two. Okay. So you've got a nice little covered patio. We've got some strong lights out here. Super pretty.
fenced in yard. And they put some lights out there too, which is great at night when you let the dogs out. And they've already stained it, which is great for weathering. I think you can see the neighbors next door, how gray it is. Um, if you don't stain it within the six months of getting it put in, the fence will immediately start to rot. So I always want to make sure it's painted or stained. Overall, it's a great size lot though. Oh gosh, it's all mushy out here. It's been raining. Ugh. I don't do bugs. I do not do bugs. Oh, look, they got their bug zapper. They're smart. It looks like they put a little privacy. Like, I don't know what to call that thing. It's like a little pull down, like those little screens we used to use in middle school. So, I don't know if that would stay. We would have to ask. Okay. You can see they've got a really large sectional in here. Fits great, feels super cozy. Still plenty of walking space going to the entryway. That's one thing I love about showing houses where people still live in them is you can see their furniture configuration and what will fit. So you've got carpet on the stairs and upstairs. At least it's not downstairs this time. So immediately at the top of the landing, you're going to have your guest bath for the secondary bedrooms. You've got double vanity. Looks like these are, I'm not sure if these are, these might be quartz or laminate. I'm not sure. I'd have to double check. Same LVP. It's downstairs. Shower tub combo. Okay. More cute little floating shelves. There's your open banister. Beacon downstairs. Okay, and then down the hall on the right, you have one of your guest rooms. I purposely didn't turn on the light in this room because it gets so much natural light. So fun accent wall if you're into those. Looks like they're using this as a multi-purpose room, guest room, and office. Also, sorry if I sound super nasally. Um, my allergies have been going crazy. Okay, you got a French door closet in this one. Linen closet in between the two rooms. And you also have your attic up here as well. So, great for more storage. Okay, looks like they're using this as their daughter's room. She's got quite a bit of furniture in here too, so good size room. And it looks into the backyard. The other one looked out front into the street. She's got a single door closet. I always recommend doing storage cubes in tiny closets because it just maximizes the space really well. Okay. The carpet's pretty worn, but I've got a great carpet cleaner that could come up here and, I mean, clean all your carpets for like 150 bucks, 160 bucks. So here's the ensuite. Got a beautiful double tray ceiling. Overlooks into the backyard. It looks like they took down the original door to add in a barn door, which I love. We did that in our ensuite as well. It makes a huge difference in the space in the bathroom and honestly, it just looks better. So, love that they did that. Okay. <clears throat> You have the same LVP as downstairs and in the other guest bath. You've got your double vanities. Soaking tub. Super cute. Looks like they've got a plant holder up there. Just no plant in it right now. 
standalone shower, super fun bath mat. Okay. Got a barn door shower. Okay. Separate water closet. Um, they have a key in this. Okay. Linen closet that they keep super packed. I will say they're very well organized. Okay. And a huge walk-in closet. This is nice too because they did some sort of custom closet here where they've got bins and all the stuff. It's way more high-end compared to the builder grade shelving you'll see. Just the little wire shelves. So, very nice closet. Great size. Okay. And that is it. We're just gonna loop through everything one more time as I shut off all the lights. Okay, and that is it, my friend.